Hi everyone, my name is Zaid Khan. So we are going to start today Global Product SSL VPN. So what is Global Product SSL VPN? So if the like we have the we have this features in Cisco by the name Cisco AnyConnect. So that's how it we can provide the access to our users remotely or if the user is work from home if they want to access the resources of the company so we have this feature in the Polo Alto it provide the global protect so we are going to start today global protect SSL VPN to provide the, res the resources like we have the server over here we have so many tools which is which is required to I mean in order to make work I mean this user is required all the tools which is hosted over here so user is connected somewhere else not in my and not in the company's premises or not in the company's network it is out of the company's network and try to access the resources of the company so you need to dial that global protect we have the features in Polo Alto so let's start today Polo Alto I haven't I have configured this IP address and this is my cloud where I'm getting the internet connectivity and this is the Ethernet first and I have assigned the IP address to it and this is the untrust zone this is my untrust zone and after that I have created the users over here user 1 user 2 and user 3 and I assign the password as well to it to each user user 1 2 3 and after that I have created a group as well SSL VPN group and I add two users in this group now after that I have created a certificate for that I have created the certificate inside this VPN inside this Polo Alto so we have the feature features we can I mean we can create the certificate so this is my certificate SSL VPN and we we have the certificate for that I have created this certificate and after that I have called the certificate in SSL slash TLS service provider and I got this I call this over here the certificate and then click OK now we need to go to the network tab and there is a portal so because we have one firewall only so we can create a portal and as a gateway as well so a portal is for the authentication or check the parameters for the users whether it's this user is is authentic user or not so I have assigned the IP address of my this interface so this is the gateway for that this is the public IP we can say and so and this is my authentication I have created the authentication profile and this is the SSL VPN I got this SSL VPN and after that agent the SSL VPN any any and I this is my gateway and gateway for US and gateway for Singapore and this is the gateway for Singapore and gateway for US and we need to go to the gateway then click on OK and then general tab we have assigned this interface to it uh, this interface this one and then authentication authentication would be the C authentication as a sub VPN we got it from here and after that agent so I created the tunnel for that enable the tunnel and tunnel this hundred tunnel I have created this tunnel and then client settings I have assigned the client settings over here as well and network setting and I have assigned the I, I provide this pool to it to this gateway this is the pool whatever I mean whosoever come to get try to dial the global protect it will us that user will IP address from this pool so network settings user ID and authentication we have this authentication then so after that we have 
hip I mean networks as of now I have leave it blank this is the hip profile you can create the hip profile as well matches I mean match messages or not match matches messages we can enable it and we can check this message should be match whosoever trying to delete this connectivity with the global protect this message should be there and authentication and general okay so again important we have these tabs an agent tab an SSL and we have in the SSL authentication and user group and we have created this external gateways US and for Singapore and app ID we need to give it the maximum 100 it says the maximum internal gateway connection attempts which is 100 and by default is 0 we need to make it 100 or as much as you can or yes so and after that I have created the policies for the VPN the VPN one or VPN one trust and this is the netting I did for that and this is the security zone the VPN two to VPN two destination and trust and action is allowed so we have this connectivity right now yes and this is my certificate which I have created or we can we can contact the third party to provide the certificate there are so many vendors they provide the third party certificate so we can do this as well but for this practical I have, I have created my own certificate we have this feature in Palo Alto we can create once and after that network tab and portal yes and authentication and then agent and we have this options gateway we provide the gateways and the app yes. and then we have gateways we need to go to gateway and if you have the big very big organization the gateway and portal should be separate because if it, the portal is for the centralized management portal is for the centralized management and and gateway is dialing suppose there is a user in Asia and when it dial the connectivity and the portal is in USA and it will assign the it will give the information about the nearest gateway so that user from Asia Asia and continental they can get the connectivity by the nearby gateway so that's how it work this follow on to so this is my user and is is trying to get connectivity from and um, is connected is connected to the to the global protect is already connected and license and everything is installed over here as well the same one and you can see that this is the IP address of this I say assign IP address by the global protect this is the IP address which is assigned by the global protect from the pool that was the pool and this is the portal this is the portal IP address and this is the global product IP address because we have portal and the gateway same for this practical and the host you can see and you can see the trip for the troubleshooting purpose you can see over here all the DNS and management PCI and everything is here you can see the routing table for that and every information is here the routing table and you can see the sockets these are the sockets and these are the locks it will capturing the lock yes it has the, the locks you can see the locks you will start capturing the locks you can see what type of information do you require you can check it you can get it from here so this my user this is my user this is the user PC and this user is getting connected is is try to is connect this user can access the sources of this of all these network 
because it it is authenticated user from the global uh, from this global protect portal so thank you so much for watching bye bye